Hello, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Rosenblum and I'm a board certified otolaryngologist in private practice in San Antonio. If you have a history of chronic sinus infections, you are not alone. It is estimated that over 31 million Americans have chronic sinus problems. Furthermore, sinusitis accounts for at least 20% of all antibiotic prescriptions and affects about one in eight adults in the United States. The chronic sinusitis symptoms lead to considerable issues, including difficulty with sleep, nasal obstruction, depression, inability to work, attend school, and loss of productivity. Fortunately, there are newer treatments and research options available to treat chronic sinusitis that have failed conventional therapy. Newer treatments include delivery of nasal steroids using a novel delivery system to deliver medications into the sinuses, meaning rather than using a spray that often doesn't reach the target areas in the nose, this device enables medicine to float deep into the sinuses. The steroid spray is approved for nasal polyps and recent studies have shown that patients demonstrate dramatic improvement in chronic sinusitis symptoms as well. A more recent treatment includes biologic medications for the treatment of chronic sinusitis. An estimated 85% of patients with nasal polyps exhibit increased markers of inflammation. Biologics block inflammation and reduce or eliminate polyps in patients with chronic sinusitis. There are a few medications currently approved for nasal polyps and a few more on the horizon. Currently, studies using biologics are looking to evaluate the effectiveness of these blockers of inflammation in people without nasal polyps. If successful, this would provide a non-surgical treatment for the vast majority of those who suffer from chronic sinusitis. A few companies have FDA-approved intranasal drug delivery devices that deliver steroid medications directly to targeted areas in the sinus cavities for nasal polyps. New studies are investigating implants for those that continue to have infections after surgery. Finally, the role of nitric oxide treatment in the sinuses is likely to enhance the defense mechanisms by inhibiting pathogens of all kinds, bacterial, virus, and fungi, and clearing mucus from the sinuses faster. Nitric oxide is a natural molecule produced in our body, important for our immune response. Thus, nitric oxide is a promising treatment for chronic sinusitis that is safe with few side effects. In closing, sinusitis affects a significant portion of the general population. The mainstays of therapy may not always resolve symptoms. For those who fail conventional therapy, there are newer treatments available and more therapies on the horizon. This is good news for patients with chronic sinusitis who choose to avoid surgery and those that may not be healthy enough for surgery. Thank you for watching. Please check out my website, alamoent.com, for our current studies and for treating other conditions.